Hey y'all. I just heard an owl, I think it is. Uh, I don't know what that was, honestly. Weird sounding. Second day. It's almost four. Legs feel good. Got blisters, which sucks. I don't know how I developed so many. I could go races without any blisters. And first day out here, I've got, what was it, like four? Like, at least two hot spots and two blisters. The sun came up, climbed up a little mountain. My, uh, my, uh, quads are pretty sore, but that's fine. Looking forward to two weeks, and it doesn't feel so, like, sore. Maybe it feels a little more normal, the pains. Not that it gets better, but it definitely maybe becomes normal. Still painful, just normal. We're getting to the top of White Cap. Oh, yeah. Oh. I missed first like real climb of the trail, and it's awesome. Probably get sick of climbing, but I'm loving this. I'm in a cloud right now. What? This is, this is awesome. Reminds me of the Bigelows. It's turned into a really beautiful day. Um, white cap was quite cloudy, as you saw. I've passed was 27 through hikers so far, and it's only 9.30. Um, currently coming off Golf Hagus, and my feet are really tender, so I'm just taking it a little easy. Coming down here, super tender feet. But it's beautiful. It's really nice. Been going for about six hours and 15 minutes. About 20 miles in. Hey everybody, I'm on the chair back. We're going up the first chair back. These are where the tough stuff starts. Feeling okay, like if I just keep up with everything I'm doing. Like, I think, I think it'll be okay. These first three days are so important. So, just trying to stay focused and get all the miles done. I hope I sleep better. I don't know if I told you all, but I didn't sleep too well last night. It's just like I find myself like waking myself up. Like, I'll start to doze off, and then I'll, like, jolt awake. Like, I'll wake myself up. It's weird. The trail backs. There are a lot of rocks. Wrong trail to do if you don't want to experience some rugged technical trail, right? So, I'm at peace. It's hard. It's taking a long time, but 
it's also an adventure. It's not the, it's not a boring trail. That's for sure. Kind of not super conducive to running. So I resigned to doing a, about a two and a half mile per hour hike. So again, not super fast, but it's just today. That's the day. Check it out. It's a plane wreck. Um, I'm feeling it in my body for sure, but it's nothing I didn't expect. I think I was hoping to get to the road, but I think the smart decision, knowing how my body's feeling, is probably to just camp and follow the plan that I set set aside for me and not look to the future and like just try to complete today the best I can um that way I would only have like 18 miles left I think that's much doable than like 21 and a half I know like what I keep thinking is like you can't like get the FKT in the first like weak but you can definitely lose it so I'm trying to be mindful of that and mindful of my body so I think I'm gonna not push it um, got everything I need for my feet so that's my biggest concern and then obviously comfort but I haven't been sleeping well in a bed anyways maybe a night on the trail is just what I need to reset my body I just saw Iceman at um, a tote road. He came all the way down about 25 miles to help me. So very thankful. I feel, feel much better. Uh, but yeah, this section was harder than anticipated, but I'm still on track to finish at my desired time. So I'm gonna still camp not feeling right about going all that way. My plan is to um, nickel and dime later on in the trail and not, you know, in Maine and New Hampshire. So that's what I'm gonna do. Camp out tonight. Oh my gosh, look at all these mushrooms. Five more miles to go.